Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm decorating these beautiful gift boxes that I got from my local Dollar Tree. I'm using two of the silver ones. They also came in blue, red, and gold, I believe. I love the silver. I just took off the sticker that was on the back, and as you can see, one is slightly smaller than the other one. I've already added my gifts and some tissue paper to wrap them in, and now I'm pulling out some tool and I'm just going to wrap it around both boxes at one time and tie a bow in it. I'm not gonna cut down the bow too much until I've completed adding my decorations and then I'll decide from there on how much I need to cut off the ends. So I'm just gonna tie a large bow and kind of fluff it out. The next thing I'm going to pull out is some ornaments in silver that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I pull out three of them one of the matte ones and two of the glitter ones. And now I'm pulling out this gorgeous frosted berry spray from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll make sure to link everything down in the description box. And at first I was planning on using either the silver or the white, but I love the pop of red. So I'll add those in a moment. First, I'm going to use these gorgeous pretty flory flowers in snow white. And as you can see on the edges, they have glitter, um, they're edged in silver, so they look beautiful, and I love the centers to these flowers. So I'm just gonna pull out a large portion for both the right side and the left side of the box of these red berry sprays. And I'm just kind of setting everything around, deciding what I like. And once I was happy with that, I'm just going to use hot glue and gluing it directly to the box. And look at these pearl center to these flowers, just absolutely stunning. I'll have some close-up photos at the end of this so you can hopefully get a better look at just how pretty all these products from Wild Orchid Crafts are. So I just added two of the flowers and now I'm going to wrap around the stems. They come on stems, so I wrap those around to hold them together. And again, I'll use some hot glue and glue those directly onto the box. You can glue everything around that tool so you don't have to worry about it and you can unwrap the tool. In the end, I decided I'm not gonna worry about it. The gifts can be opened by cutting the bottom of the tool on the bottom of the box and then it can be retaped back down so she can keep the gift box just as it is for decoration after she gets the presents out of it. So I'm just tucking in a few of the glitter ornaments there and I liked three of them on there. So I'm going to add one to the top just to kind of fill it all in. Really simple to do. And now I'm going to cut down the tool once I pretty much finish with those decorations. Here I decided I wanted to add a few of the white berry, frosted berry sprays. And my camera cuts off for a second here. I just tucked a few on one side and then a few on the other. And now you see me pull out these Mon Mary Cherry Snowflakes. These are chipboard cutouts. Here's a little bit closer look. These are great to work with and Wild Orchid Crafts has tons to choose from, all different. Um, they have wedding ones, Christmas ones, dress forms, tons to choose from, and they're great to work with because you can spray them, ink them, whatever you'd like to do. For this, I'm using some, my embossing dauber, which is a clear embossing liquid, and my white embossing powder because I wanted to give them a white base since I'm using them as snowflakes. So I'm just going around dabbing that on, and then I'll go ahead and pour my white embossing powder on and heat set those after I've done all three of them. You could also use Versamark ink and just press it on with your ink pad if you wanted to. So I'm using some Tweezer B reverse tweezers to kind of dust those off, set them aside, hold them in place while I heat set them. And these little um, chipboard cutouts, you can cut them. They're easy to work with however you want to do it. So I'm again taking my heat gun to it to heat set them and now I'm pulling out the sticky embossing powder and again using my liquid embossing powder because I want to go ahead and add glitter to the top of them. So I'm going to be using some Nuvo Sparkle Dust, gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. And again using my embossing powder I'm going to add that on cover them with the sparkle dust and dust them off. And then that way I can add them to the top of my present. Okay. 
heat setting it, it's going to activate that stickiness. And so once I add my glitter to it, my glitter will stick on top of that. So I'll just kind of set those aside. Here's a closer look at how pretty that glitter is. And now I'll replace the glitter and clean up with a Swiffer dust rag. So I'm using some glossy accents, adding it to the back of the snowflakes, and I'm going to add three of them on the corners. And right here I'm going to show you, I have a little white jingle bell, which I had in my stash. And here I'm showing you up close, there was a little gap right there that I wanted to fill. So I thought the little jingle bell, I could have added another ornament, but I liked leaving it as the three ornaments. And I tucked in that jingle bell and I was so happy with how this turned out. So really quick, simple, put together. Check out Wild Orchid Crafts. They have such amazing products. And be sure to check out the description box as well as over on my blog for a list of the products that I've used. Thanks so much for watching and please give me a thumbs up.